Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Collector, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Astral. So we're going to be taking a look at both sealed, prodded, and single. As always here, we like to focus both on the European and the American market. So as you can see here, one card market. We'll also be taking a look at what's going on over in the US with Digi Player. We'll take a look again at seal supply of boxes and cases. We'll take a look at, at the numbers in just a second. And then we'll focus on two main singles of the set. And we'll see how prices differ in the US be, between the US and the EU. And we can see what could that mean if there's any opportunity and what we could expect forward. So as always, if you're not already, I highly recommend you join the Discord. The link is in the description of the video and it's completely free, obviously. And it's active, we talk, we have fun. So if you want to have a blast, um, I highly recommend you join. So here, before we get started, let's take a look, as I said, at singles. So in the US, we have Astral. We, we, we have the news of Astral selling out on the Pokemon Center, which is partially why I'm doing this video. I'm going to be honest. Uh, hopefully, people will try to search on Astral. However, if you go back and look in my videos that are three, four months old, you'll see how I've been extremely bullish on uh, Astral. For uh, main reason was it was a Palkia set. The Machamp is the most expensive card I know, but it's mainly Palkia Dialga. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely a fan, which the, the market doesn't care what I think. The market is a market and uh, it doesn't care if I'm a fan or not, but uh, you, you think you would have a pretty good argument saying that Pokemon and Yargia are too loved and sought after Pokemon. So it was easily and, and then we'll take a look at prices and we'll reflect on those on single as well. So here, as you can see, we started to move higher and uh, you can see here they were selling for basically one in the 150s and if you look at uh, here listings now you can find them for only as low as 170 dollars so it looks like it's it could be considering it sold out the new bottom and then here if we take a quick look at cases as you can see here they are selling for right around 900 dollars us dollars and uh, here it looks like the market has sold the news and it looks like we're going to be selling for on the one one thousand one point one actually and above. So that's interesting. Now digging into even more data, let's open up the Excel sheet. And I have two I'm going to show you. First one is basically the here on the market we like to take we used to take a monthly update on the main sets or the number of boxes available, both on car market and G player. Things have changed and. Uh, You'll see why in just a second. So here, last month, so April, tw March 28th, sorry, we had, as you can see here, let me zoom in because you probably can't see, we had 195 boxes on car market and 118 on TCG player. So now, what we have here, and if you're new, if you've seen the the past couple of videos, you should already what this Excel file is. Everything you see here, and there's much more. It's populated with data. So if you want to stay updated, then I highly recommend you subscribe and join the Discord as well as we talk more in the Discord about this thing right here. So as you can see here, this is the number of boxes on car market. I can get data on car market. I cannot on TG player based on TG player rules. So not up to me. I just followed the rules. So here, this is daily updates. So it's that's why I said we're not going to do do it anymore monthly because we can get data daily and um, that's much easier. We can get a ton more of it than we could manually, obviously. So here, as you can see, boxes are going up. It looks like and this is me making an assumption that are not um, actually I'm not 100 percent sure. It looks like people are starting to dump their boxes and you can see that prices basically haven't really changed. So I'm going to take you scroll down. This is the average prices of the four lowest boxes. And this is the median price. Uh, feature me here. Sorry, just wanted to point one thing out. The median is not the mean. The mean also referred to as the average as the mean is a theoretical tool, mathematical tool, also referred to as the average. The median in simple terms splits the data set in two. What does it mean? 50% in this specific example of the prices are below that price, which as I'm seeing right now, it's 159 euros and 50% of the data set. So 50% of the prices are above 
159 back to old me. So take this number here. As you can see, I'm going to scroll down. These numbers haven't really changed. This is not going to change at all. This is not going to change significantly. See here, see here, and see here. And then again, same. So price haven't really changed. Supply is increasing. Probably mean demand, demand is still strong. Um, at what I expect. And if we can also take a look at cases for uh, Astral and they haven't changed. As you can see, no data has changed at all. So they're all listed the same. Nothing is as sold in the European Union. And they're basically at selling at um, American prices. Around, remember, if you're not familiar, in the European Union, there's no Pokemon Center. There's only in the UK, which is Europe, but it's not the European Union anymore. So, so moving on to single, I'm just going to focus on the Machamp V and the Dialgia. Now, as you can see here, and we're going to go here, the Dialgia is selling for above forty dollars. As you can see, and if you list for, if you look for near mint and above. You can only search for uh, above $40. That's what they sell for. There's not much supply, just above $40. And then it goes into mid 40s. Now, if we take a look at the European market, that's what they sell for. Now, again, this in the United Kingdom, so it's not in the EU, but they sell in the low 30s. Now, shipping is going to be more expensive than in the US, but still, they're still in the low 30s. Now, if we take a look at the Machamp V, as you can see here, it is selling for above $100 and the lowest listed is at 125. Now, do the same thing, which is right here, Machamp V on car markets, Europe, those are prices. So they're lower. Can we expect prices to align within the European and the American market? So. It has been that prices on uh, the American market, especially for high-end cards like the Machamp, they tend to be cheaper in the US than in the EU. So we could see something starting to move. Usually when it's more of a 20-30% difference, it usually tends to, to realign. If you're curious about this, then I highly recommend you watch this video, which should pop up top of my face, which is on Paradox Rift. And I specifically talk about the Groudon, the Steelix, and the Rory Moon SIR. So that's something I want to monitor. And uh, one thing I want to add before I end this video, sorry if I talk too much, but I have a lot of info to say. I should probably uh, break these kind of videos into pieces. Let me know what you think. Maybe do one for seal and one for singles. It's probably best. Um, anyways, what I want to say is, look at this chart. It was three months ago. And uh, again, three months going up so this is has gone from 80 to 100 which is over 20 percent 30 percent roughly on top of my mind and here from mid 20s to low 40s is what a 40 40 percent roughly so and this was mid february to beginning of march so here I'm I'm making a hypothesis. I don't know. Nobody knows. What I'm thinking is I've always said these cards for thirty, especially the Diog in the podcast for thirty dollars. They were basically a, a free card. It's an alternate art. It's hard to pull. So what I'm thinking is the market saw that, and um, because of what what was happening with the other Sword and Shield sets, Fusion, Chillin, Evolving. They saw the opportunity. They were expecting Astral to sell out sooner or later. And they started to, to buy. And as people started to buy, if supply is not coming into the market, obviously there's not as many people opening Astral as there were one, two years ago, then uh, prices must go up because there's they're trying to supply. So what could happen now, people who bought here, they could sell here and they're gonna take a profit, especially if they were able to buy large uh, large quantities of uh, of the algae in, in the distance so and those are going to buy here i mean if they sell here someone must buy and if someone buys here if the market wants then it could continue higher so i don't know that's what i'm thinking that's what usually happens as always i'm curious to know what you think and how do you see astral doing in the future
Do you see it keep going higher? Do you see it reaching the levels of other soul insure sets? Or do you think it's gonna keep on lagging behind? Again, thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments, it really helps. It helps me to provide you guys with better quality videos. So any comment is appreciated. And hope to see you in the Discord. Hope to see you soon again in a video. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend.